Hi everybody, welcome to the Green Research video. My name's Christian Spring and I work at SGRI as the Research Operations Manager and I'm joined today by Oliver Thornton. Hello. Oliver works as a trials officer and he's been running the Green Research trial. Um, and what is green? Well, if you can remember back to 2019 and September research days, we actually launched the Gulf Research Enterprise uh, Programme, which was all about looking at what are the issues in the, the golf industry, uh, gaps in knowledge, uh, and going to the industry and saying, guys, you tell us what your priorities are, and then we can look at what kind of research we're going to do to actually fill those gaps, enhance our knowledge and hopefully find ultimately solutions to problems. And so we opened up the floor to the industry, say you tell us what your issues are and we'll make a shortlist. And then at BTME in 2020, we actually had a public vote and the topics that came out as being the most popular or the highest priority for folk were water and organic matter. So we've set up a trial which is focusing on the dual aspects of organic matter and the issues associated with it, its build-up, and also water, water management, and how the two dovetail and link together. So what I'm going to do now is hand over to Oliver, who's going to talk you through the trial that we've set up. Hello everybody, I'm Oliver, I'm the trials officer looking after this green trial. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about what we're actually doing on the ground uh, and how, how we're getting this trial up and running. So in front of me, we've got two, two areas set out. Uh, this area right in front of me, we're looking at a regular irrigation level. Uh, so putting on normal amounts of water through times when uh, we might need to. And on this area, we're going to be putting on less. So about half the amount as we would do normally. As well as irrigation levels, we're looking at different treatments. So we've got different mechanical treatments that have gone down. So we're looking at using uh, aeration. So we've uh, aerated the whole area. Half the trial is also getting grain and sand injection and it's all being top dressed. Just standard practice as you would for maintaining your greens. So another aspect that we're looking at with this trial is, is the nutrition programme. So we're going to split our nutrition programme into two halves. One half we're going to look at a, a standard uh, programme of around 100 kilos of nitrogen per hectare. The other half we're going to be doubling that rate. So this should hopefully interact with the organic matter that's already in the ground. It's quite a thatchy area this naturally, uh, so it's a perfect perfect area to be looking at how the organic matter buildup can interact with not just the plant health through nutrition but also the interaction with the water that actually gets kept within the thatch. So it's all well and good talking about what we're actually doing uh, but we need to look at ways at how we can assess that and the effectiveness of all these treatments. So we're looking at various aspects. Um, one of the main things that we need to look at is the turf health. So we look at using the turf quality, the turf colour. We can look at what's happening at a cellular level using NDVI. Uh, and this just helps us sort of keep an eye on things. But not only that, we also need to look at what's going on underneath the ground. So we use Cora, so it takes plenty of cores to look at the organic matter. We can also use moisture probes to look at the water levels underneath the surface. All this comes together so that we can hopefully look at some trends and be able to inform your practice using this data in a way that's manageable and helps you guys out. Thanks Ollie, that was really interesting. This is a really interesting trial and I think it contains a lot of core issues that the turf industry and the golf industry in particular are going to have to adapt and overcome over the coming years uh, and they are organic matter, plant health, and water management. So this trial incorporates all three of those elements and looking at how we can best optimise our management to ensure that we have the best possible, most robust and resilient playing surfaces now and in the future. So all that remains for me to do is, is to invite you to come and join us for a Q&A session at four o'clock on Thursday. If you've got questions about what either myself or Oliver or any of the uh, of the uh, videos for this week have, uh, have, have been talking about, please come online. It's all going to be hosted on SGRI's Facebook page. If you can't join us for that, then you can send us your question offline. Send it to inquiries at sgrigroup.com. Put in the subject title, SGRI Research 2020 Q&A. Just helps us 
find everyone's questions and then we'll answer it on the, on the live stream. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you and engage with you later on in the week on Thursday.